Next, we got this clip that features Skepta, which is a really um, interesting and really insightful and really um, eye-opening, um, you know, clip for me because it kind of pushes me in the direction that I'm trying to go in. I've been a little bit apprehensive. I've been a little bit, quote unquote, scary to kind of go out there and do it again. And what I mean, do it again, I mean, promoting and putting on my own events because technically, you know, because just in terms of, a you know, usefulness thing the whole getting booked thing isn't happening anytime soon with me um i think i'll probably have to build up my profile get to a point where my dj mixes are getting hundreds of thousands of views and stuff and then you know because of those views i'll just become undeniable people just have to book me because you know i've just got views and people like what i do similar to what party boy 69 did so i could definitely do it the party boy 69 way just kind of build my profile out that way or i could do it the way that most people do it which is kind of organize your own parties you organize your own parties, you book yourself, which is kind of narcissistic, and then people can see you play. And then they'll be like, oh my God, that Agostino guy, that big black guy behind the decks is pretty decent, isn't it? <laughs> right? And then they're suddenly going to book you. But I felt like this video from um, of Skepta talking in this interview really gave me a bit of encouragement in terms of just, you know, maybe understanding that I probably do need to put on my own rave just so I can have a point of view out there. Because I feel like the rave scene, especially in London, has become a little bit too queer a little bit too like kooky you know that there isn't any space for like regular dudes <laughs> like me anymore you know what i mean so let me play this clip and hear skepta going basically talking about you know black people getting back into house music basically if you like music you like house you just haven't realized it yet Ooh. and bare young g's yeah think that they can't listen to house and they're like what's that, what's that? Oons, oons. but this is the reference point boom like, but who's that what's skep and jam yeah i like, I like that cool that's like a whole wave of people might just try and listen to it, you know what I mean? A lot of the shows that we've done, they just put the mic next to the deck. Sure. Just in case! <laughs> I kept looking at the mic thinking they're, they're, they're going to understand soon. This is not about us rapping. This is about our skill as musicians and producers and DJ. They're coming now and they're, ex and it, and they're enjoying it, knowing that maybe they're not going to rap, but they're going to make us feel welcome. And That's mad, isn't it? Imagine Skepta and Jammer putting on an event and the organisers put a fucking microphone next to the deck just in case right <laughs> they're like yeah nah these guys are gonna spit that's kind of racist isn't it that is really racist it's like it's like them putting a bottle of hennessy and ray and nephews in your rider in your bucket right behind it because when you get booked as a dj and you're like a big time dj you get like a bucket full of drinks behind the booth it's like they automatically put magnums in there ray and nephews and and fucking hennessy that's like what what are you trying to say you trying to say because i'm black i'm gonna drink that sort of shit like get me some chardonnay man get me a fucking you know what i mean get me some red wine but yeah um i do agree with what you said i think if you do like music you would like most people would like house music i think that idea i think for black people especially in the uk we had this really a surgeon to like oots 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 music right which is odd because of the history that black people have with dance music electronic music to be specific and when you think about it especially nowadays when you think of the prevalence and the popularity of flipping ama piano you know you you fucking you 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 jump up you know you put you you crank up ama piano tempo a few bits and suddenly it's fucking house it's fucking regular house music yes it's a bit deeper melodic and the slower to listen to I'm a piano maybe 120 bpm and lower but you pump up a little bit it's just regular house music that you listen to in clubs so it's really a shame that most a lot of black people don't really identify themselves with the current club music that's out there at the moment or maybe not feel uncomfortable but it's also really annoying for me being a non-queer non-lgbtq person obviously i would say i'm an ally to those people and their causes i'm definitely somebody that's going to champion that sort of stuff and be at the parties and you know be a, a kind of a, a good um, member of their community right by just being there like external community extended community but i find myself sometimes now being i don't want to say overlooked but you don't really see a lot of like um, emphasis being placed on people that look like me playing or being a part of that scene anymore which maybe is a reason why I should go out there and do my own thing instead of complaining about it, which is what, you know, most events are like that, right? Most events that start now, there's even the ones that are like gay friendly, they start because you go out and you feel like no one's really speaking to you. No one's really like, you know, addressing your needs. No one's really communicating with your group of people. You don't feel comfortable in certain places. So you just set your own party up as a way to kind of like, you know, um, circumnavigate that thing and provide people that are like you a safe place that they can go to, quote unquote safe, um, to kind of party and have a good time. So maybe now, 
because there's more of a prevalence and more of an eye and more of a tension in kind of bolstering flinter queer lgbtq plus people maybe i need to have to create my own little lane to kind of you know bring that kind of image of a regular hetero straight black guy behind a booth back in because at the moment it's just not the thing anymore you know that's why i love what skept and jam are doing with mass tempo as much as maybe the music isn't for me right that melodic deep house stuff or the tech house stuff just isn't my vibe i like the fact that these guys exist and you're seeing skepta behind the booth with the do-rag with the fucking zoot in his mouth jammer you know off a couple of bumps having a good time i think that is amazing to see because you don't really see that behind the booth behind the booth now you see somebody you see some girl in some weird long fur coat with like a weird kind of bra top and like crazy makeup and shit everybody looks fucking kooky and extroverted which is what it is cool but it's not just like regular dudes like me anymore, right? Where are they? They don't exist anymore. You know, what I mean? you have to have a bit of an angle. You have to have a bit of a kink, a bit of a, a bit of a quirk, right? I have to come in like wearing lipstick and wearing a wig to kind of get some of these gigs somewhere, which is which I understand because I think for the longest time those people weren't really welcomed. I think you know when the whole like deep house melodic house thing was really prevalent, right? Um, it was people like that felt uncomfortable to go in that's the thing that is really because i think you know what maybe i'm complaining about nothing because i think it, it it kind of levels itself out because there was a time in 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 club culture where if you walked in as a dude with like a bra top on you know and your phone showing guys would make you feel uncomfortable in a club call you names maybe even physically assault you now you are going the opposite way and basically you need to stand out even more you can't just wear a phone going to a club if you want if you're in that group you want to really make a name you know what i mean that like everybody kind of does that so maybe this is a kind of course correction over time it will kind of level itself out a little bit but i feel like nowadays i don't really see a lot of myself represented in clubs in general as being a black dude um just a regular dude that's just you know I, i'm into clothes and shit but I, I wouldn't say you know i wouldn't want to get into the realm of trying to queer bait to get gigs because that's that i think is really disgusting right like it's, it's, it's one thing me going to these parties and being an ally and taking part in it which already i'm kind of taking up space you know and i'm maybe being a bit of a distraction i'm maybe taking away some of the energy there because they're all being free doing their thing and i'm here i am like standing on the corner like a fucking bouncer but i love the parties anyway but it's another thing to go out there and queer bait and pretend to be part of that scene just to get gigs i know there's some people that do that i know there are some people that are queer baiting in the dj scene and trying to make it seem like they are you know down to suck a dick but they don't really suck a dick they just look like they do but they don't really and i think that's the most disgusting thing you could ever do um especially you know when those there are people out there that actually do and they want to play <laughs> you know what i mean give them space give them room but i think after seeing this clip i'm gonna make it more of a mission going forward of course i need to increase the dj mixes first of all i haven't done that in a while so expect those mixes to come out um sometime within the next couple of weeks and stuff i'll be doing more pirate you know radio sorry pirate studio mixes and shit and just in general just uploading random because that because there was a point in time where i was doing a lot of like procrastinating i was like oh if i can't dj live stream at pirate then i what's the point of just recording a mix at home and uploading on my sound club that's not really the way to go i should do what i was doing in the past in the past i was just recording mixes just for the sake of it so most likely in the future what i'll do is i'll have like a separate little kind of quote-unquote radio show thing that i'll do because i like to you know i don't really like playlists i don't know about you i fucking hate playlists but i want to share some of the music that i do listen to and what i'm interested in to kind of get my kind of point of view and taste out there just for the sake of just wanking myself off and making myself look better than some people because that's what the main thing is about right when you put together a mix as much as you're doing it for the enjoyment of other people you are doing it to kind of show off right like hey look at me i can dj look at me i i know good music look at me i'm cool so i'm gonna be doing that anyway right <laughs> doing that that read, read radio show and i'm also going to be doing more mixes going forward even if i don't live stream them i'll just put up mixes on my fucking soundcloud and just put up a lot more because i feel like at the moment i've just been a little bit lame you know i've been a little bit lazy i haven't really been putting any effort in putting out more mixes i've been kind of just you know taking my foot off the pedal so i really need to kind of do more in terms of you know pushing those mixes out there and making them available to people to listen to because i want to put my point of view out there and i think it's important for me to put it out there and i can't just be complaining about things if i'm not offering something else as an alternative you know what i mean i need to offer something else so that's what i'm going to be doing and in case you want to check out my um soundcloud i'll put the link in the flipping actually i'll put the links in the in the chat so you can check out if you want to and in the description as well but i've got two i've got my main one for my fake 
um, record label, which is Persistence Records. So if you go on um, soundcloud.com forward slash Persistent Records, you'll find that. That's what, that's for my fake um, record label. You'll see all that there. And then I've also got my main one for my DJ page, which is going to be Handsome Black Man. But I think going forward, what I might do actually, I might just like, because I think persona wise, I want two personas. I want to have this Handsome Black Man DJ handle as like my party DJ kind of like, you know persona and i want to have just my name agostino be my other dj name that i usually use for more techno based um sets that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm going to have two different soundcloud accounts so i'm going to have this one and i'm going to have the one just like just agostino just for the whole techno thing so check that all out i'll put all the links in the description if you're watching the live stream you'll find the links in the flipping chat as well so you can see them as well but going forward i'm gonna do it because i feel like you know it's important that i put out my voice it's important i let people know what i want you know and let them know that they you know there are quote-unquote regular normal boys just like me out there who also want to play some of this music and we just need a chance but sometimes you have to make your own chances in life you know what i mean you have to make your own chances you can't sit there and cry and i'm not a crier so let's not start today <laughs> 